quiet as a mouse. Okay? Takes him across the street. Puts him... Puts him on the lawn, on a blanket. Tells him, don't move. Daddy be right back. Went back in the house. Came back out of the house. Went and sat down at the, at, in the grass with the kids. The fucking house blew fucking right up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's terrible. Oh, yeah. I, I, like I said, I came from a rough fucking crowd. I grew up around Satan's Choice. They're a rough fucking crowd. Sounds like the reserve. If you're a bad family, they'll just burn you out. Burn your house oh, down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I did a lot of things in him. <coughs> I was also used to be a fucking uh, collector. You know when you kick the fucking door in and ask for your money politely? I still hold shoes on. I want my money. I'd pick out what I wanted. When you want, when you get the fuck out, you have to sit back. It's called collateral, asshole. <laughs> it's because I gave that stone to her. Because she collects them. And it's called the friendship stone. And it was like she gave it back to me. But I went, always wore it after he gave it to me and I put it on a chain. But it's gone missing. It was on my on my neck. I was sure it was on my neck when I went to bed. When I woke up in the morning, it wasn't there. So I told Erin, like, if you're talking to her, you ask her for my chain, for my charm back, please. Oh, Show the lights went out in 7-Eleven again. Look at that. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm enjoying the, the cigarette. I wonder why it does that. I wonder if power at the pumps I is meant, still going. I meant... Yeah, you are, you're recording, aren't you? Yeah. No, I can't say it to you. can't say it. I'll say it to you when you know. You guys got to show up for coffee club tomorrow? I'm going definitely I'm going to the breakfast club because I have to meet O'Neill. Why don't you come for coffee club? He's at coffee club too. Only O'Neill's going to fix the, uh, the white marks on my scooter with the spray. Oh, what? Get rid of the scuffs? Yeah. Take nice. the white marks off. Mm-hmm. The collision mark. I got the paint at my house. He said for me to try it, but I, I don't know. I know I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. As sure as I as sure as I'm fucking sitting in this chair, I'll fuck it up. So O'Neill can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll give you a radio call at well, coffee from Coffee guy. Club to wake you up. Yeah. Because he'll be up. Uh, he'll be at Coffee Club. Who O'Neill. Yeah. Oh yeah. He always comes for coffee in the oh, morning. Oh good then. I'll get it done there. But if you come for Coffee Club, and I'll buy you coffee. Go, and I won't have to go to Breakfast Club. There you go. And I'll buy you coffee. I think I still owe you six. Because with having now what I have, what's wrong with me? I don't have time for stupidity. <laughs> They're not worth my waste. They're not worth the waste. It shouldn't have, have taken you that life. to know no. that. They're not worth I'm it anyway. I'm taking on a new life. A new life. It's called freedom. New beginnings with Brenda. That's right. Freedoms. Freedom. I'm free. Freedom 105. I'm free. 
I always like those Freedom 55 commercials. <laughs> Remember those? Hey, I'm you in 30 years. Huh. I don't care what anybody says. My nickname that I was given to me by a very special man. Jeebus? Never mind. Don't even need to say his name. He's Jesus loves you. He's a <laughs> Jesus fucking loved me, he wouldn't make so much fucking disaster. There was my landlord. He wouldn't make so much you, disaster. You, you mispronounced slumlord. I mean, come on. Right? right. I don't, I don't, I fixed know, it. like yeah. the older people, that's fine. You know, we get these things and, you know, that's good because... It's all right, because we're old anyway, and we're going to die soon anyway, so who cares? I don't know if it's a But when God or Jesus, whatever the fuck you people want to call him, why would he have a brand new spanking baby just come out of a lady's snatch, be born with this big ugly fucking tumor in its eye, and it's cancer? Oh. What? kind of fucking Jesus or God is that? Yeah, it doesn't sound like a very... Okay, so no, I don't want to talk about Jesus. And Jesus is, and by the way, mm -hmm. the bastard father of his, he had his son born to some woman they married. Immaculate conception. Probably wasn't all that immaculate. So then she had Jesus. They just didn't talk about it. She, then she had Jesus. Jesus grew up. And they nailed him to a fucking cross. Right. They killed him. Right. Now. Hey, hey. What kind of, even what kind of father is that? Mm -hmm. That he would have his son born just to, for people to torture him on a cross. I mean, the guy was alive, man, when they were put no spikes in his fucking hands and that thorn in, on his head and all the rest of the shit that I think one of the Romans did. stabbed him too did. one of the Roman soldiers stabbed him with a so spear so now he's what back up in heaven there is no heaven honey you're all fantasizing you're all doomed you're gonna die when you do and that's gonna be the end of you there's no going up to heaven and talking to God. No judgment. No judgment. No. There's no nothing. It's all bullshit. We're all living in hell. But thank God we finally died. You, th you think we've lived other other lives? This is the hell that we've brought upon ourselves? No, you know, yeah. I think I think that we brought this hell on I'm ourselves. I'm some guy's punishment. When we when he was nailed to that cross and killed mm -hmm. for nothing. Jesus died for nothing. Nothing. To it scare was, us. It, all it was was sadistic. Yeah. Okay? And if you look at it, now we have sadistic in our lives. If you really want to learn what life's really all about, watch a show. It's a series. It's called Game of Thrones. It has <laughs> all of it in there. There's history for you guys. Okay. Game of Thrones. I think it's all possible. Maybe not the dragons. Yeah, but, that's when the stuff. You know, let's stretch it a bit. But, but all, all the stuff they had in Game of but, Thrones, that's all happened but, in real life. Yeah, it has. It is in real life. You know when the, uh, the, the Crusades were? That was when they had knights. Thousands and thousands and thousands yep. of them that all head over to another country that took someone's skull in. And as if you think about it, okay... In the Game of Thrones, there is a king, and there is a queen, and they are royalty. Ooh, don't we have king and queen still? Yeah, for a while. For a little while. You know... Most countries are like getting I rid said, of their monarchies because like they don't said, need them. Instead of our sins being forgiven mm -hmm. for him being on that cross... It brought us into what we are now. People killing each other. People can't stand each other. This one is doing this. So, oh, I won't talk to that one. 
this one's doing that. Oh, I'm not talking to that one. The fuck's going You're on there? You're all a bunch of hypocrites. There's a guy that lives upstairs from me, thinks he can just walk in my goddamn house anytime he feels and uh, intimidate me. What kind of shit's that? Just because he feels like it. Because he's mad. His name is Rob. Rob. Robert. Ryan. Reinfeld? No. Reinhardt. 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 That's it. Reinhardt. Reinhardt. He was married to... No, well, I don't think they were married. He, but he was with Tracy. You know who you are, Rob? And I bet you there's a bunch of you out there that know Rob. I've, I've, I've had people come downstairs and tell me how much they hate going up there because he tries to do things that they don't want to do. That's not good. That's what he wants. That's what he expects. That's I mean, not good. On, doing it with Julie Ryan? Ew. He diddles do Julie Ryan? Oh, he's on Julie Ryan for a long time. Ew, that's disgusting. Ew. How much little self-respect would you have to have to diddle with Julie Ryan? And then uh, there's uh, he does Roxanne Latham. Ah, no way. Yeah. That's disgusting. And then he does that Carrie girl. Uh, not, not, crazy Carrie Bolin? Yeah. Oh, oh my and then, God. Yeah, sometimes he has a girlfriend. Oh, oh. She's probably like a got a real actual girlfriend, but he doesn't keep them very long. That's because they, they catch shit off him. Once they, no, no, it's not that. Once they catch a no, little it's syphilis. it's not that. It's not that at all. No? It's his personality that turns him on. Ah, okay. He's the kind of guy that all of a sudden he'll get fucking mad. Mm-hmm. And then he'll explode. Like he'll smash his, one of his shelves. Oh, so he's a big you know? baby. Oh, yeah. Like, he, uh, okay. he, he got so mad about and I hit him being allergic to his couch, <laughs> which I don't understand. But anyway, he was allergic to his couch, and he destroyed that motherfucking couch. There was nothing to pick up. There was foam and everything, man. He just tore that shit out of that. Fucking crazy. He's a narcissist. Something else goes along with that. I don't know what it is. I'm not real good with that kind of stuff. Oh, uh, I man. did send you a picture of what it actually is. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I can, didn't know that. That's a good thing to know. What picture? What the word that she said? Yeah, narcissist. Uh, right. Here. Let's it. Check it on the phone, dude. You know what to do. You're a mechanic. You're very good with electronics. You told me when you're going to college and you're going to take electronics, or I'm going to punch you in the head. So you get in your head that that's what you're going to take up. Electronics. Well, he's get into an apprentice program. He's good with electronics. Well, the academic part you might have trouble with, but that trade side? You'd love that. Hey, if you want to get him doing something, there you go. ask him to do the laundry. Mm. Say something to him about, you know, we got to do some laundry. Well, he doesn't know when to stop doing the laundry. I know he'll have enough places to hang it. <laughs> he loves my washing machine. Oh, I can't read this. I washed your jeans with, those bla with that black belt. That button's swelling up in now. Yeah, I, I sewed it on good. That should probably never, ever, ever, ever come off. Ever. <laughs> you pretty much like made layers and layers and layers of it, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, he rages for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Who? Rob.
Let's say I just. Let's say I didn't sense you, you, you what I looked up. Let's not mention it to. Um, to Facebook anything like that. <laughs> not mention anything. Oh. That's terrible, Robert. Very, very bad. Very, very bad. Mm. <laughs> I know, I was like, when I first, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to send this to you know who. Wow. I can't even pronounce all this shit. So that's a dream. That's terrible. I would hate to be a person like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm crazy. And the reason I'm crazy is because my brain, some of my brain is already dead. And you get hit in the head a few times? Well, yeah, don't, I mean, try being about nine years old and then your sister pounded your head off the fucking rocks so you can understand. That, I, there was another one too you, you told and, us. And then I fall all the time and fucking roll and then I got ceramic tile. That's great. That's not good. Real, real question, cement underneath it. Yeah. My head hurts all the time. Constantly. Aches. Aches, yep. Aches and pains. Pains and... This is what I, he I know is. what a narcissist is, yeah. Oh my goodness, I things I read in there. Oh my Jesus. Uh. That's scary. Now I'm really scared of him. And I am going to... Take this thing, make it go away. Oh my god, now I really am. If it gets afraid. too bad with him, you can get a restraining order on him. That means well, if he comes in your place like that again, they get, they'll arrest him. Set up some cameras in your time, place, too. Well, the next time he walks in my house, he's done. Next time he comes at me, he's done. Set up cameras so you have call, proof. Gonna, as soon as he starts raging at me, I'm calling 911. sick and tired of being out all outside my house and uh, and, that. and getting uh, yelled at by him and attacked by him my friends being attacked by him he even told two of my friends that were in um, scooters one that could hardly walk mm -hmm. They made him an apartment just for his, so he, when he was in the wheelchair, right? Mm -hmm. He told them if he didn't like what they, he was saying about me, that I'm a dirty, disgusting pig. <laughs> and I brought uh, fucking, uh, bed bugs in the fucking building. And blah, blah, blah. My house smells like shit. Jesus. I'm not going to slide. What bar. shape is his house in? in a, oh, his fucking house is immaculate. <laughs> I'm telling no, I'm huh? telling you, man. There's not a fucking piece of dust anywhere, man. Everything is in the right position. Oh, man, he's fucking... It's probably because he's still at home a lot. No, he works. Oh. He's just a fucking neat freak. Mm. I'd fucking hate to live with him because I wouldn't know what I should do. I mean, what would happen? I don't go up there. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that my ashes fall on my on the on the carpet or something and freak out on me. I don't go up there anyway because well, I know he doesn't want to touch me or nothing. I don't want to take the chance. <laughs> he tried years ago. I didn't go. I didn't go for it. That was before he got with Tracy. That kind of sounds nice. If a girl nice. looks in his direction, she's in love I with him. I'm a Mazda? She's in love with him. She wants to groove with him. Poor girl's, that looking, sounds at, poor girl's nice. looking at the tree. Don't you think? Poor girl's mm -hmm. looking at the flowers on the tree. Oh my god. And he thinks she wants him. 
Ew. Every girl that he sees, if, if they're looking in his direction, I don't even think they have to be looking in his direction that he thinks they're, he thinks they're both to be. Yeah, for about five minutes. I don't understand how he's, he kind of, like, allergic to everything in this house. I don't understand that. I don't know how long we're getting knives on everything. There's clothes, there's furniture. That's weird. I'll be right back. It is right for drink. Yeah, I need one too. Did you think you have... I have money. I'm gonna go over and get us a drink. Just don't spend it all. I love to buy some things. Like what? Uh, milk, fruit. Yeah, that makes sense. And yeah. all that shit, all that kind of shit. I do. Hmm. Give me a banana. They're right by the coffee machines. <laughs> Dwayne's going to get a drink, but I don't know what kind of drink. And, uh, so I don't know if I should get him a coffee or not. I'm sure he'd put the drink down and drink the coffee, wouldn't he? Yeah, get him a coffee. What did he get drinking? Oh, water. I'll tell you that. Do you want a coffee? I told him to get you a coffee. Oh, I would love one. Thank you. Yeah, I told him already to get Yeah, get him a coffee. Thanks, Nick. Pepsi! Big bottle! <laughs> Why are my fingers sticky? Well, I, I'm telling you, for one of the small bottles, yeah. like, right? I mean, it's not small. It's kind of bigger, right? But yeah. You pay just as much for that. You pay... You pay as you do buying a full bottle of Pepsi. A two liter. Which so, side opens? That side, but I don't like the traffic. Hey, buddy boy. Hi, Simon. I just tried to bring Sally in and just to give him a cousin. Hi, baby. Hi, baby boy. Oh, you guys stay in. You guys stay in. No, I just wanted to say hello. Give me Ruby. Yeah, right. Thank you, Ruby. Grab Bobby, Bobby, come here, come here, Bobby, 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 come here. Come here, baby. Good to see you. Hi, Bobby. It's good to see you. Oh, you can open that. Open that. Open that. It'll go in it. Bobby, in your bed. Hurry up. Come on. In your cage. Come on, Bobby. Oh, he's on the other side of you. Come on, Bobby. In the bed. In the bed. What the fuck? Hi, baby. Get in, get in, get in. That's a good boy. Stay there, stay there. Yeah. Stay there. Good boy. Now you can take your arms and walk. Good boy. In your arms. Good boy. Hey, buddy. Open up. Hi. Hey, Just grab a hold of him, Dwayne. Don't be afraid. Just grab a hold of him. Hi, buddy. He won't do anything. Come on. There we go. I got you. There, see? I got you. I got your wife. Okay. Don't worry, I got your wife. COVID drove everyone mad. I think, I think it's true what they say in that Game of Thrones. Um, it was like we were 
just we were we were in the in the it, around the world. The world went around, and it led certain people to certain places. But every winter, people move into places. strange people that you didn't see before. And you think, where did they come from? Well, that's where they came from. They moved in in the winter. They didn't go out just like we don't go out in the winter. But in the spring, they went out. They came out. Just like everybody else does. I think that's why I like my song. What's going on? It's a good song. Yeah, it is a good song. Very good song. Those, uh, those balls are coming off of there and going on this one. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, appreciate it. Leave a yeah, like. Subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll do another get-together soon. Thanks for watching again. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. From here on East Main, you're watching Dwayne's Corbin.